Okay, so now let's try to create pagination for our site. We are going to paginate our posts. So we are going to create a simple pagination for our posts using this Gatsby Paginate plugin. Now remember, uh, Gatsby has a lot of plugins which you can use to add additional functionality to your site. Uh, so we are just going to go npm install Gatsby Paginate and just wait for it to finish. So now that this is done, we continue following the instructions on this page. And now we need to require this create paginated pages. So this is what we are going to be calling our variable and it's going to be create paginated pages. And uh, now we have access to this. Now what this does, it's going to create pages for our posts in which there will be a post displayed, but paginated, of course. So it's similar to create page method, but we are going to use this. So create paginated pages. Okay, uh, now you have an example how to use it right here uh, with a syntax error actually. Uh, and the syntax error is right here. So this needs to be this. Uh, we can delete build path because this is the default build path. And uh, if you want, you can check out this code and then customize it to your needs. But what we need to define right here is this path prefix, which is going to be posts for us. And uh, because what we want to end up with is when we go to posts, we want to display a few of our posts and then other posts, the remaining posts on other pages. And this is telling Gatsby, so it's going to be posts and then dash two, dash three and so on as you click on the next page. And the page length is how many posts do we want to display on each page. Since we don't have a lot of them, I'm going to put three right here. And then you need to define a template. And that template we are going to be calling posts.js. Now, uh, since we already have posts, uh, pages, posts index.js, we need to delete that or uh, just rename it. So right here, pages, posts, index, uh, because this posts and this post right here would clash, so it wouldn't work. So I just want to rename this to be posts old. Or you can delete it, whatever you want. So this is going to be posts old, but I'm not going to delete it right now because I need the code from it. And now uh, we go right here and create new file called posts posts.js and now in that file uh, we are going to create our template for displaying all of our posts so i just remember something so it get it gets be node.js uh, we forgot to change this so this is looking for some result data posts edges but we already have that right here in this posts variable so we just do posts right here, or you can just copy this, whatever you like. So save this. Uh, and now for our post template. So we got most of it from right here. We can just copy this, paste it in. Now this is going to be the most of our template, except for this part right here, where we actually are displaying our posts. Uh, this isn't going to work for us because as you can see it's looking for node front matter date which we don't have fields that slug which we don't have for front matter dot title which we don't have so this is not going to work but in our posts old index.js file we have something that will actually work so i'm just going to copy this and paste it right here and let's just go through through this code once uh, just so you know what is happening. So first of all, we are creating a new component right here called navlink. We could also create it uh, probably in another file, but we are creating it here. So we have this navlink component and then we are creating this index page component, uh, which you can call whatever you like. And we are passing in data and path context. Now, path context is very important for us because it contains this group right here. 
and in group we have all the posts that are supposed to appear on this particular page that we are looking at. So we can maybe even console log that out. Group and now uh, when we run uh, Gatsby develop we should see uh, what we are actually getting right here. And then we have uh, a title with a page count and it says posts. So we are going to change that a little bit later. Uh, we have our code for displaying our actual posts. And now we have, uh, we are calling the component nav link, which we created up here. We are calling it right here with a URL to the next page and with a URL to the previous page. And I think this should be it. Let's try to run Gatsby develop once and see if all of this works. Okay, so this appeared to run with no errors. Let's just go right here, refresh this page. And as you can see, we have our front page. So let's see if our posts work now. Okay, so we are getting something. So first of all, this says four posts. This should actually be four pages. So this is how many pages of posts we got. So save this, but as you can see, nothing is actually displaying right here. Uh, and if we take a look at our console, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Uh, you can see that we are getting something. So we are actually getting three posts and uh, you can see that it ha they have an uh, ID, uh, format, slug and status and template. Now, uh, the reason we are not good getting anything right here is because uh, we are actually looking for title, which we don't have right here. And uh, so we are looking for a slug, for a title, for a date. Uh, we don't have any of those fields right here. And we don't have them because they are not defined in our query all.js file. So query all.js, as you can see, we are just sending ID, slug, status, template, and format. So we need to add title right here, uh, date, and what else did we need? Okay, so we got slug and ID, and I think that's it. Uh, okay, so save this, and we need to run Gatsby develop once more. Okay, now Gatsby has run or compiled. If we go to our page, now you can see the title of your post. Uh, and if I click on the post, we go to that post. And also we have this go to next page, go to previous page. But if you take a look down here, you can see that nothing is there uh, when, when I click this or when I hover over this. You can see just number two instead of posts number two. So this isn't working properly for some reason. I don't know exactly why, uh, because it says right here that this uh, prefix should be used so that the Gatsby knows where to put that URL. So it should be post slash one and so on. So this actually doesn't work for us, but we can fix it easily if we just go down here, since we know we need to have posts slash number. So we can just go right here. Save it. And now these URLs should actually be correct. So as you can see, it says posts to if I click go to next page, I go to the next page, I go to the previous page right now. So next page, next page, next page, we have four pages, right? So I can go to the previous page. And this is how you would make a simple pagination with Gatsby and WordPress. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below and you know the rest. Like, share, subscribe and maybe send some money my way using the Patreon page. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.